In 2019, the WNR CETA embarked on a visionary project to help realize the vision of South Africa's National Skills Development Plan goals to support the growth of the public college system as one of the key solutions to the country's skills challenges. This is derived from the National Development Plan's goal to produce 30,000 artisans annually by 2030. We cannot achieve the aspirations of the National Development Plan if we ignore the area of skills development. But Masi Kukune, this centre is built for you. We are building a centre that you will be proud of. Your children will be skilled here. The Sikukune Skills Development Centre, now standing tall and proud in Roplesdal, in the province within the Elias Mutsoledi municipality, and only 30 kilometres from the Ephraim Mukhali municipality. The people of both these municipalities stand to benefit immensely from the establishment of this centre. At Sikukune College, we take pride in our education partners. Why? Because <coughs> education is actually a way that liberates one from ignorance. We then said to ourselves, let us acquire a piece of land and ensure that we ensure that training takes place here. They can train for theory in their three campuses, that is here in Patu, which is in Begasport, Appel Campus, which is in Khanja Belen, and CS Bal, which is in Mutetema. They can do the theory there. But when it comes to for practicals here, for artisanal training, they will come here. The project was conceptualized in line with government's district delivery model, pronounced by President Cyril Ramaphosa in 2019, which intends to bring services closer to the people and seeks to ensure that local government is capacitated and transformed to play a developmental role. The main driver of the Skills Development Center is the retail chain value chain. The center will have agricultural produce, livestock, and organic products grown in the Sikukune rural community, sold across South Africa and possibly across the borders. This vision will be realized through collaboration with the Agri CETA, Foodbev CETA, Mer CETA, as well as other relevant government institutions. The significance of this educational facility cannot be overemphasized. We want to develop young people in this province with skills that are relevant to the economy, not necessarily, not only to the job market, skills that are relevant to the entire economy. This initiative is a 146 million rand investment by the WNR CETA towards a brighter future for the young people of South Africa. The centre boasts engineering workshops, retail and agricultural hubs, administration block, an auditorium and a hospitality training building. The learning programmes to be offered in the centre will include, amongst others, national certificates in animal production, accommodation services, automotive body repair and maintenance. An occupational certificate in boiler making will also be available. We want to partner with you to engage more employers and more companies. And the Premier, you are lucky, is former chair of the, of the College Council and is committing to be party to inviting other employers to come and water the seat. Thousands of other colleges which we are already partnering on various uh, programs. We really thank you for you for, uh, for your participation and being here. All guests joining us to celebrate this important event. Let me thank you for being a very nice audience. Uh, I think we were able to do everything just in time. Everybody was cooperative, and from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate. And I will not say much. Uh, sit us. <laughs> the efforts of government through the National Skills Development Plan and realized by the WNR CETA are aimed at producing young people who are not only responsible but equally academically equipped to play a pivotal role in the advancement of our economy. WNR CETA Skills Development for Economic Growth.